yourself a big thank you to everyone sending those birthday messages. Fantastic to be able to share, even if it's just a little slice of my birthday with you. But what has got me even more excited today is the fact that we've got our other sporting codes starting to creep into our youth sport roundup. Keep that information coming. Let us know when the big derby days are happening at your school. Man, did we have an excellent weekend of school sports, some of the biggest derbies in the country. Now is your chance to get the latest update. Let's check it out. Who are you calling a schoolboy? It's derby time as the junior and first team rugby powerhouses go head to head. Back the stars of your favorite school by sending picture and video highlights from their titanic clashes to sport at expressoshow.com. If they make the cut, we'll take the battle to TV's front lines and broadcast them to the world. Expresso Sport, the home of rugby's big hits. Who are you calling a schoolboy? In today's Youth Sports Roundup, we recap a jam-packed weekend, kicking off with rugby results. Paul Ruhr suffered another shock defeat this weekend as the Bulland side slumped to an unexpected 22-20 loss at the hands of Oakdale, who have reminded us of their rich rugby heritage. This is the third consecutive loss for Paul Ruhr, who were topping the log some time ago after going down to Tigerberg and Paul Chum last weekend. Glenwood gave Pinetown the weekend's wooden spoon, courtesy of a 76-0 thumping on Saturday. The points were flowing in another high-scoring game over the weekend. Monument overcame Parktown Boys High School 40 points to 7. The travelling Parktown had their fair share of possession, however they couldn't translate that into points. Your score Monument was more clinical with their possession, slowly racking up the points with penalties and tries alike. A deserved victory for the Cryfontaine side, who had some tough calls at the start of the season, but now are well on track. Craig College will be feeling much the same about their 2012 campaign after their 60-12 victory over a very strong Central side. The boys from Bloom will now hit the training ground just as hard as they prepare for a massive battle against Paul Boys High this weekend. In the latest rankings of schoolboy rugby, Craig College are only one place above Paul Boys, so we're in for a mouth-watering clash. Now for our featured derbies previewed on Friday. Dale College were the resounding victors of the reunion clash with Queen's College. Queen's brimming with confidence after Friday night's chess and debating results were hoping it was an omen for their rugby and hockey encounters the following day. And they did own the Astro Turf as their under 14 seconds and first sides won their fixtures. The big clashes and usually the ground where most school derbies are decided emphatically are the rugby fields and this time round Dale College dominated proceedings winning 11 of a possible 15 matches. The first team did not let their school down and ran out 21-18 victors. It was an enthralling game going down to the very last minute. Very good account of themselves and their school. A wonderful advertisement for schoolboy sports in the Eastern Cape. Our cameras were out at the South African Schools College for their derby day against Bishops College. Underneath the backdrop of Table Mountain and in the shadow of the Newlands Stadium, the boys competed in all sports. We managed to catch the first team hockey and rugby games, with the spoils being shared 50-50 in the two clashes. Bishops ran out 5-1 winners of the first team hockey encounter. The visiting side dominated proceedings from the very first whistle. Maintaining possession and bursting into attack with pace whenever the opportunity presented itself. Sacks really struggled to break down the Bishop's defence with awesome tackles being made all over the turf. Undoubtedly, the early goal conceded by Sacks affected the game drastically. Uh, the heads just dropped as soon as that goal went inside of a few seconds in, so obviously I was just lost the heads and lost composure, and that ended up in the, the result. Eh? Bishop's forwards were clinical in and around the D. Star forward James Drummond showed great skill driving into the box on a number of occasions, rewarded with two goals himself, but he credits the victory to a very good team performance. It was good, it was great conditions, there was a bit of rain in the, in the end of the first half, but I think the lads came out, played a decent uh, game of hockey, we moved the ball around nicely and we were quite clinical in the D. Pity not to get a few more of those short corners, but I think all in all, played quite well. With the hockey wrapped up, all eyes were on the rugby fields as the age-old rivalry was about to be reignited. The match was played in the middle of the park for the majority of the first half, with each team keeping the ball in hand. Sachs did draw first blood, though, through a penalty, only for Bishops to draw level a few minutes later. Sachs's defence was immense on the day, regularly halting any Bishops foray. 
The same cannot be said for Bishops, though. As hard as the boys fought, Sachs kept managing to find and exploit those gaps, and that would lead to their flanker, Gino Lupini, getting over for a try in the corner. Sachs dominated the match from then on, scoring two more tries to lead 21-3 with the end of the second half drawing closer. The Bishops crowd had to find other forms of entertaining themselves in light of the impending defeat. While their team's persistence was rewarded with a late consolation try, it really was too little too late. And Sachs, who were victorious on the day, go marching on. Our big shout-out goes to the fans of School Sports. It was a well-supported derby day with a great vibe created by the hosts. So, a big thank you to the SAC staff for letting us immerse ourselves in one of the Cape's oldest rivalries. Your school could be the next to feature on Expresso Youth Sport. I suppose you've just got to ask yourself one question. Who are you calling a schoolboy? Stay with Expresso and SABC3.